Welcome design students. In this video I'm going to show you how to make doors and windows for your house project or any architectural project that you might be working on. So as usual let's start with a cube and your house of course or whatever it is you're working on might be different but I'm going to sort of create a house shaped cube so I can cut a door and a window in it. Now I'm going to use a tool that you may not be familiar with just yet. It's called the multi-cut tool. It can be found right here. Now the multi-cut tool allows you to cut edges sort of freeform into your object like so. And you can also use it to insert edge loops like the insert edge loop tool but you have to hold down control to do that. So I'm just going to very quickly um, set the upper limit of my windows and the lower limit of my windows and then I'm going to put a window here and some space and then I'm going to put a door here and another window here. So I'm going to have a window here and a window here and a door here. Notice that the multi-cut tool is still active so I'm going to push uh, E to deactivate that and then I'm going to select face mode and I'm going to select these faces here and these polygons are going to define my doors and my windows and then I'm going to get the move tool and I'm going to hold down shift and extrude them inward like so. Now if we look at a reference image of a window we see here that a window has um, panes and it has sort of a frame around it. So we need to create some polygons to be able to create this structure. Right now all we have are some planes. So we need some edges all across the windows and the doors. Now if we just cut them now they're going to continue all the way around our structure and we're going to have way more edges and therefore polygons than we need. So what we're going to do is detach these polygons from this structure. To do that I'm going to hold down shift and right click to access my modeling tools here and I'm going to select detach components and that now detached those polygons from that mesh however they are still part of that mesh see I'm just allowed to move them away from the mesh now and any edges I cut in these polygons will not continue around the um, rest of the mesh now I don't need this edge here on the door so I'm going to switch to edge mode and click that edge and then I'm going to shift right click and select delete edge. Alright so let's start with this window here. Let's zoom in on it. So let's start by selecting the move tool switching to face mode and we're going to select this polygon here and we're going to hold down shift and pull it out just a little bit to extrude it and switch to the scale tool and I'm going to hold down shift and click and drag to inset that polygon just a little bit to create the outer frame of my window. And now let's use the multi-cut tool again and we're going to hold down control and we're going to cut an edge about here and here. I'm not trying to be perfectly exact with this here, here, and say here. And we can straighten these out if we need to by selecting the move tool, switching to edge mode, and double clicking on these edges and we can move them up and down. The insert edge loop tool probably would have been a better choice for this because we could have just said okay give me three edges evenly spaced but Alright, so now we're going to create the window panes. To do that, we're going to switch to face mode and we're going to select these inner faces, holding down shift as we select each one. And then we're going to shift, right click, and select extrude face. Now we're going to turn off keep faces together and we're going to give this just a little bit of offset and that creates our window panes. Now I want a little bit less than that so I'm going to enter 0.05 
and push enter. And then I'm going to hit the select tool to turn off extrude and then I'm going to hold down shift right click and do it one more time and give it a little more offset not that much maybe about 0.07 your numbers might be different and then all we need to do is grab the little gizmo here um, and move these back in the Z direction and we have now created our window panes. You can hit Q to switch to the Move tool. Before I move this back into place, I'm going to switch to Face Mode and select these around the edges, these polygons around the edges, because we really don't need them. So I'm going to select one, and then I'm going to hold down Shift and double click on the next one, and that selects that whole loop of polygons. And I'm going to hit Delete. I'm also going to delete these back here. I don't know why they are there, but if there's a backside to your window, delete that as well. It's not needed. Then we're going to switch to object mode. Uh, to move this window back into place, we just simply need to switch to face mode, double click on it to select the component and move it back into place. Now later on, we'll just copy this we don't need to um, do anything with this one. I'm just going to delete it. But we have to do something special before we can copy it. And we'll talk about that in a minute. So let's do the door. If you look at a door, you can see that generally they have six panels. So we're going to try to create something that looks like that. So let's use the multi-cut tool again. And hold down control so we're cutting an edge loop. And this would be the bottom panel of the door. This would be the top panel and this would be the edge, the edges. And then we're going to need some panels up here, some space between these. And then this is basically going to be divided into two like so. And then we need to divide the middle part into two like that. Now there is a more accurate way to do that, but um, I'm just doing this quick and dirty for you, okay? So I'm going to switch to the Move tool and switch to Edge Mode and move some of these around a little bit. And I'm double-clicking on them as I'm moving them. Okay, so what we need to do here now is extrude these um, panels inward. So we're going to switch to face mode, grab that, hold down shift and click each one, and then we're going to make an extrusion inward like so. And I hold down shift and I'm just moving it. And then we're going to get the scale tool. I don't know if this is going to work or not. We're going to try it. And hold down shift and scale them in did not work so we're going to have to use the extrude tool so let's hold down shift right click and select extrude face and give these some offset and then we're going to select the move tool and hold down shift and move them out a little bit and then I want to scale them in so they look like they're kind of beveled so I might have to do one at a time so I'm going to select one zoom in on it so you can see I'm pushing F on the keyboard to focus get the scale tool and scale it in like so so we're going to have to do that for each one Maybe we can do two at a time. And I'm not holding down shift here when I scale them. I'm just scaling them. Let's see, that doesn't work. So you got to do them one at a time. So just try to eyeball it.
And there you have it, a door. Now to make the door have some thickness, we can switch to edge mode, double click that outer edge, get the move tool, hold down shift, and extrude back. And then we could fill this hole here by holding down shift, right clicking and selecting fill hole. And that gives our door a polygon on the back. Now, to put it back in place, we simply switch to face mode, double click on it to select the whole component, and move it back into place. Now, to create a window, a copy of this window for this space over here, I need to switch to face mode, double click on that window that I created, and then I'm going to shift right click and I'm going to select um, duplicate face. And I'm not going to do anything here. I'm just simply going to get the move tool. And now we have duplicated them and we can just move them over like so. And since this hole is slightly different size than that hole, I'm going to um, switch to face mode and grab that face on the inside of the window opening and just move it over. And if needed I can adjust this edge here by switching to edge mode, pulling that over, and pulling that over. So that's how you create windows and doors and there are some more advanced techniques we could use to um, make them more precise. But that's for a later time, and I'll see you then.